Okay guys, I got the uh, dash just plopped in right now, so uh, I need to get the bolts for it. Like you're sitting over here behind you guys. Some of them are at least. I'd like to know where people are putting my stuff, huh? I know, it's me doing it. <sighs> so, there's some of them. Here. I gotta run this uh, bolt in this hole, make some threads. Well, that's not gonna work very well. Uh, plus, that's not even a bolt to do do that with. Do, 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 do. I gotta get one out of the cord of bolts that will do it. Where's the ground wire? This one goes to the back. This wire goes here. That's the ground. And this is the ground. So. Okay, so that's ran over there. Like I said, this one goes down below to the seat area. Now, untangle that. 
All right, got that ran to the back. Now we can put some bolts in. I know what these ones go to. These are, this is one of the ones for the dash. These are, what? Okay. I'll have to adjust this uh, dash once uh, I uh, once I get the uh, what you call it once I get the hood all done. Fun. Oh, there's that other bolt I'm looking for. Well, maybe not the bolt, but the piece I'm looking for, let's just say that. I can use it. Kind of tricky at times. Okay, so I'll just run these down kind of to get the uh. Hood uh, wind up, or not hood, but the dash to kind of sit still so we can continue with the other stuff. Okay, so electric lift, which we don't have. Okay, so. I got to pull that back out. There's a ground wire that goes right here. white wire 
is your start signal wire. So it goes over here. Now this plug here is your safety for the clutch. So that gets plugged in. As soon as there it is, I find it. Okay, so that's hooked up, that's hooked up. This bolt was bent. It'll go into the scrap. I'll probably uh, get another comment of like, for the love of God, clean up that shop. Somebody did actually uh, say, leave that in a, a comment on a video. I was laughing. Let's put the battery in and just see if it spins over. That way, uh, I can verify everything is going to work before I, uh, Well, we should have some gas in the carburetor. I could uh, verify the transmission works a little bit too. Like I said, this is the wrong battery for these. Negative goes on first, or not negative, but positive goes on first. You see, I corrected myself. I learned the hard way, trying to connect it the other way. You know, it makes a lot of sparks uh, fly. Remember when I said these were store returns? Not working. But, you know, sometimes on a store return, you never know, sometimes people are idiots.
and sometimes they're actually right. You know where that one's going. That's right. Right across the uh, shed with the other one. And you know where these things are made. China. Oops. Let me move that out of the way. Remember when I was doing those works on those uh, old Sears for the one guy that that one uh, wild uh, Sears with the eight horse and then the uh, twelve? Well, that's the guy I got the the solenoids and stuff like that from. I mean, and the box was um, starters. Ignition coil for a single. Um, what else? There was quite a bit of stuff. An air filter for a horizontal shaft, uh, a post twin, or a Vanguard. Because they use the same filter, air filter at least. Uh, and about 30, 40, uh, of the solenoids, three and four post. He says, I don't know if they're any good. I says, I don't know either. But we'll find out. You gotta figure some, there's gonna be some, uh, that don't work and some that will actually work I'll have to wait and find out you know and these were Briggs solenoids so they are were in Briggs and Stratton boxes Okay, 
Let's see if this one goes. Where's my light? Where's my test light? I haven't seen it in a while. There it is, I think. Mm, yeah. On the ground. Got positive there. Got positive there. But nothing at the starter. For the, uh, Okay guys, I'm gonna hunt around for another starter. Okay guys, I just stuck the old solenoid back on because of the fact that uh, I went through six and didn't even find a good one, so I was like, screw it. I'll get a new one tomorrow. There should be some gas in the uh, uh, carburetor. And I did hook up the kill wire, I hooked up the choke, but no throttle. I want to make sure it actually moves. Now we can go further. You know, I wanted to make sure that would move. So, it's, it was in reverse when I first got it to going. Of course, you've seen it. So, yeah. I didn't have any doubt. Did you guys have a doubt? Alright guys, let's uh, continue working on this thing. Uh, next is uh, hooking up everything. This is going to be fun. Alright guys, time to get this thing uh, together. There's the headlight wires. Which, those are fine. Here's your charging wire. Okay, move these over to this. I gotta also run the throttle through here. Battery's done charging, guys. Did any of you guys have any doubts that I wouldn't be able to get the thing rolling? I mean, is it rigged? Technically. Is it cobbled together? Kinda. You got an MTD engine, 
with pulleys off another GT16, or not GT16, but GT6000. You got heat shields off of the older GT6000. You got the wiring off the older GT6000. You know, technically it's cobbled together. Grabbing a couple of wire ties, guys. Still have to run a fuel line. We gotta put the fuel tank back in. Or the fuel tank in because it's the one off the 93. Are you going to clean the fuel tank off? No. I'm going to put it back in dirty like it came off. Okay. Now I need the heat shields. Okay, we got the holes there. We got the holes here. But it looks like they really mess with that. Okay. Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to steal the front plate off the other tractor. Okay, guys. Good thing I went out there and took this front plate off of the other one. It's different from uh, this one. So, let's get these side plates over here because I'm going to do it all at once. Well, actually, I'll just stick them on the floor. Oh, you dummy. Alright, hand tools. Should have changed them when the, uh, engine was off still. Oh, there's what I'm looking for. Why'd you guys hide my ratchet? And my wrench. Huh? Okay. So. Let's get 
you guys came unplugged. Hold on. Let me plug you back in. All right. These are carriage bolts for this. Almost was afraid I was going to have to get the breaker bar out for that. I mean, you don't have to change your front plate, but you'll be missing your uh, muffler guard. Oh yeah, there's still one more ball. People wonder why I'm hard on tools, too. Okay, now this side. Whoops, just knocked you guys. Okay. Let me get on the other side for this. Back is starting to hurt.
these plates here take most of the abuse from the snow plow. So, and these ones are pretty messed up. They're starting to roll around, they're bent even, and they're just worn. So the difference is, is the top. Feel like I'm getting too old for this stuff, guys. Knee is spasming out right now. And just think, I'm still young. <laughs> over by the door for scrap. This one's really bent.
Okay, where's that last bolt? There it is. Doing it this way, guys, you can put pretty much almost any engine in these things. You can put a single cylinder in one of these GT 6000s doing it this way. But you have to mod figure out how to uh, do the bolt holes. You could uh, put a... Well, you could put practically any call or command in it but you'd have to uh, notch the frame a little bit like I did with the uh, other 90 the 93 that's still together because I had to do that for the uh, oil filter let me get the two heat shields for the front Maybe three heat shields. We'll button up the front while I'm at it, of the engine at least. One thing, I'm going to feel the pain tonight. This socket here don't fit right for some reason on any of the uh, uh, ratchets or whatnot. It's a Taiwan. I don't know what I did with my uh, impact half inch. It could be out there in the, near the wheel horses. This is why there's a lot of racket. There's only those two bolts that hold that shield there. See, this one fits on all the way. Okay, so. Like this.
I just put that up back up there so I don't lose it. Famous last words. The shield here is to keep the, or help keep the, um, uh, heat from getting to the, uh, area where it sucks in. I don't know why, because, uh, it sucks some air from this direction from the uh, air cleaner so don't ask me how why they did that and then the engines designed to suck some air from down there I don't know these designers I they they get on my nerves at times I mean, anymore, it's all about money, 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 money. These things, yes, they were built kind of cheaper, but they still can compete against uh, stuff, while well, it can blow stuff away if that's built today. Okay, where did I put the air cleaner base? I've been sticking stuff, hiding it on myself all the time. There's the top. There's the base. And there goes the seat bracket. Close the choke when you're installing these screws. Ask me how I know. I kind of, when I worked at a lawnmower junkyard, I was working on a customer's tractor and I dropped one down the intake. Had to pull the carburetor off just to get to the dang thing. Oops. So we got to hook up the electric clutch. I got to tie up the electric clutch wire still, which I'll do that off camera. Um, then we got to move to the back of the tractor. I'm going to go ahead and put the wheel weights on so I don't have to do it later. And yeah. These wheel weights are kind of hard to get on because there's two sets of weights. They're 66 pounds uh, per a side. This tractor is approximately, well, I don't know about the rear end in this thing, how much, whether it's heavier or lighter than a uh, uh, regular gear drive high and low. I would say it would be a close one. I'd have to look up a gear drive and compare it by weight. Don't forget to hook up your uh, breather line. If you do, you're going to have a bad day, especially if you're mowing grass. This bill 
filter could be replaced sooner or later. It's actually still looking good. This is the filter that I got the 93 with. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to change out the uh, lift rods over to the plow ones. Oh well, I'll do that off camera once the uh, test drive is over. I am going to put a new belt on it. It don't look bad, but I'll see what Carol's got to offer tomorrow for a belt. See? Now... What's next? What do you guys want to do? You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to get the hood on it. So, let me uh, bring in the hood. And the hood that's uh, going to get scrapped after I get it pulled apart. And we'll uh, make two, one out of two. Okay guys, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see of this. I got to plug you in too, you're almost dead. Alright. So, off camera I just test fitted this hood. There's a baffle in it, or not a baffle, but a... Um, thingy in it. That's got to come out. Uh, this hood is... Uh, off of one that I, uh, um, well, shoot. You know what? This hood ain't no good either. Eh, crap. It's bent. Okay, guys. This hood. is all right it's got a little bend there but you know when you're working with junk I can probably if I can't straighten this out then I'll have to go get the original hood for this machine it's outside Yeah, it's dented now, but oh well. Um, I mean, really, that other hood needs a repaint, also. This one needs one. So. You know, I'm going to fix this hood, put it on, and then uh, when uh, I get the time to be able to paint the uh, hood up, I'll do it. Okay, so this one, this got to come off, just like the other uh, 20, the 25 horse hood I had, this has to come off.
Okay. So that. This one's got good lights, at least the harnesses. I will end up having to get some LEDs. Okay, now. Man, it needs a wind badly. These brackets are bent. Surprisingly, the grill ain't busted. So... Yeah, I got the fender just sitting on the tractor with no gas tank. Whenever you're messing with these uh, fittings here, or not these things, but these special thin nuts here, you always use hand tools. If you don't, don't come crying to me when they break. Or you break something. So that gray grill is gonna um, give, or gray hood and grill is gonna give me uh, the uh, mounting, or the not the mounting, but the uh, what you call it? Those. Which one is this? Is this 5 sixteenths? Yep, that's 5 sixteenths. Here's a 3 eighths. You don't want to, well, taking those things off, you can use it on an impact, but putting them back on, you don't want to. That's what I meant. Well, looks like this grill's junk. You know what? I'm going to do that anyway. I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. It's going to look funny. I don't even have to do that because I got another grill for this. I've got a good grill.
and it's right beside you. Thought that 25 horse uh, hood. Okay guys, let's see. Okay guys, I'm going to do something that even I said not to do, because this one is not one to catch. So. Okay, see, I didn't run it all the way down, I just eased into it and got it to catch and start. And that's what you need to do, you don't go hog wild on it and just crank her down. And as you can see, I have torn apart a few of these tractors. Otherwise, I wouldn't have some of these parts. What irks me the most is I had two sets of these fenders that was off of the fake GTs and uh, they had the uh, six speed uh, shifter on the side and uh, yeah I scrapped those fenders otherwise I would have a nice set of fenders for the back of this thing yeah they would have been had to be painted they would have been nice. Okay, that's good. That's Okay guys, now over to the 93 hood. I'm just going to pull the grill completely out of this.
There's a fork bar in the back that we need. Fork bar, which can be installed after we get the lid on. Okay, let's see how many different sizes is in this darn thing. Oh, you guys are sitting on my impact. Okay, this grill will go be put up in the wing to for use on the future. Or in the future, I mean. And uh Yeah. Um hmm. This one's garbage, but I need to pull that uh other side off and pull the electrical stuff off. I mean, you could uh, take and drill through that and just put a nut or a bolt right through, but you know, to me, that kind of weakens it. Let me get the right tool. Instead of being a hack. can be saved. Plus I noticed this grill is melted and whatnot over there. So That's a bent one, right over there. This, garbage. So, get that over there. So when I go out, we can throw some of that away.
you don't want to be using an impact on plastic either. You know, do as I say, not as I do. My famous last words. This is hardware from this grill originally. Because I was going to sell this grill, and then the buyer backed out. So, snooze you lose, it continues to go with to me. <laughs> Okay, so I'll put it on the machine and then bring you back after I clean up. 